The second interview uh, that we were doing for the website, uh, we decided to make it a little bit more personal, uh, a little bit more um, relaxed, a little bit more um, driven around me and um, what uh, I feel I can bring to Rushmore Rules. For me to, well first of all let's just talk about why I got into coaching really and, and what um, and what inspired me since uh, a very young age I was into competitive swimming like most my family uh, were all heavily involved in swimming uh, my, my mum was a coach and a teacher my dad was an official uh, my older sister swam my younger sister swam uh, I naturally um, swam it my swimming career went all the way through I started coaching, uh, voluntary, I wanted to give something back to my own club at 16, um, but then when I went off to university, um, that's when coaching really took off for me, uh, and my competitive career sort of started to fade, uh, there was no swimming club, I'd done my undergrad in sports science at Bedford, and um, having no swimming club there, I was keen to set up a swim team, uh, which I did. Um, I was deciding whether to take a hobby, a passion of mine, into I, it was a sort of a crossroads for me. I didn't know whether I wanted to make uh, my hobby and something that I really enjoyed my career. I didn't know whether um, making it my career would uh, lose the passion and the enjoyment. And if anything, it's fueled that, and I've become more passionate about my swimming, and it's made me realise that you know you've got to be involved in a job that you enjoy and that you're very passionate about. Hatfield Swimming Club taught me many things, uh, an awful lot, uh, loyalty being one of the strongest things. I think uh, observing a lot of young coaches coming through at the time and how a lot of young coaches seem to stepping stone through clubs to benefit their careers, I clearly rapidly learned that um, I needed to learn an awful lot um, from a very experienced coach uh, at Hatfield and I, I, I certainly followed that through um, uh, or you know certainly the main stem of reasons a club that I could see in the next five to ten years becoming my home and a club that I could see being dominant in the southeast and being very successful I think that the second reason um, main reason for me to come into Rushmore was I'd got to a point in my career where um, I'd spent six years as a top assistant head coach for one of the best clubs in the country and I needed to take that step in my development and um, run my own swimming club and head coach my own swimming club and that's the challenge that I've really enjoyed. As a coach I'm highly ambitious, um, certainly don't like to fail, um, that could probably be looked as a negative as well I guess, but I, I, I'm, I thrive for success um, and I've I'm keen to um, unlock the swim every swimmer's potential at Rushmore, no matter how good they are, um, and take and take them, you know, to to reach their full potential. And um, and and I really have high expectations um, for myself as a, for head coaching my first club and for the swimmers at Rushmore because I see the passion and commitment that they're already starting to uh, show the program. I want to help unlock these swimmers potentials and I know I can do that. I know that uh, with the experience I've got and obviously the support network that I've got and the excellent coaches that surround the club and have devoted a lot of time into the swimming club, I know if we can all come together as a team um, we can really make things happen. My, I'd like to be able to look back in a couple, two, three years time and have a club that's made the Arena League final um, a or B, um, and becoming one of the top clubs in the UK, I'd like to think that we could have swimmers starting to make international selection, European juniors, youth Olympics, those sort of things. Um, but, you know, I take a day at a time uh, and, and we'll see what happens. And I want the club to be uh, successful, but I want us to enjoy it as well. I want us to... Um, make leaps and big progressions and develop swimming in this area and turn some heads but at the same time do it with a smile uh, and with dignity. Um, I think that's very important. I think um, a lot of that is really all come from what I've seen over my first few months here. I think the first 
the short period of time I've been involved in the club, we've certainly seen a lot of changes in terms of uh, performance related changes, in terms of um, the atmosphere that uh, is, is there. I think there's always been that element of fun throughout the club, but I think I've, as head coach I'm also trying to highlight that. Uh, but also commitment and dedication uh, and hard work obviously all follow closely with that and um, I'm looking at strengthening the foundations and building things from the bottom up um, and obviously my primary focus as head coach is the, the national squad um, but I've made sure that I'm involved throughout the club um, right from the bottom all the way up and I can clearly see um, us getting stronger all the way through so um, I've got a habit of waffling on and talking for ages so I'm going to end this interview here and I hope that's given you a bit of an insight into my life um, and my viewpoints and uh, what I feel I can bring to Rushmore and, and what I've done really. So thanks for listening and um, I'll speak to you soon.